everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to VEDA Day 29. Okay, so it is still day 29. It is in the evening, though. I'm a little bit late getting this out, but here I am. <laughs> okay, so um, what did I do today? I stayed here today. Uh, I really needed to go to the grocery store, but I just... I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't go, <laughs> but um, I was able to make dinner and, and we're, we're, we're still good on stuff. So, <laughs> but anyway, so I stayed here and I actually did some sewing today. Um, I didn't do any, well, I did a little bit of decluttering um, Steph of the Secret Slob uh, here on YouTube. She revealed her big project today in her video for today. So she didn't give us a new assignment for today, but she showed us the big projects that she she had been working on like on the weekends um, throughout this month and so she was working on a room that she had that she is using as an office slash craft room slash homeschool room <laughs> and so she she showed it before and after and uh, she did such a great job um, working in that room <laughs> but anyway so what I did is uh, I cleaned off. I just kind of looked around. I was like, okay, what is, what do I have that I could declutter or at least, you know, um, clean off. <laughs> and so I decided to clean off the bar because there was a stack of papers there. I should have done that during the paper declutter. Uh, actually it wasn't any papers to be decluttered. It was just a few items that were on there or well, a pretty good stack of papers that were on there that needed to be filed. And so, uh, in fact, uh, two of them, two of the sets of papers that was there, I just need to make a file folder for it and go ahead and file it, you know, put it in the filing cabinet. And so I need to do that still. I'm going to be doing that as soon as I get off here. Uh, and then I had uh, some recipes, a couple of recipes that I had printed out and they were sitting on the bar. And so I'm going to take those and put them in my recipe notebook. Um, so then it will have a home. <laughs> and so the, anyway, that's all I did as far as decluttering is I just cleaned off the bar and, and found homes for the papers that were on there. <laughs> okay. And so what else I did, I actually did some sewing today. And so I want to show you, I'm working on some more bags. And so I got a little bit more done, uh, on the, the side panels. So here is one, uh, the one, um, colorway <laughs> of bags there. Um, front panel and back panel. <laughs> See? Okay, so I got the top and bottom uh, pieces done. And I actually used my fabric cutter again, so that was exciting. <laughs> it sure beats having to trim all those little separate pieces uh, separately. <laughs> I'm not very good at stacking. I know some people can stack like multiple layers on top of fabric together and then cut it all out at once, but I'm just not very good at doing that. And I, I just... Um, not very brave. <laughs> I usually just kind of do one piece at a time. But anyway, so that is said. I've got working on three bags with that with that print, and then um, let's see. And then I am working on. Um, well, where's the other one? Right here. Now this one is more in a rough uh, condition because I need to trim the sides. But here's the next one. It's I've got three bags that are in these colors. And see, as you can see, the bottom is, I need to trim off the sides for the bottom panel. Anyway, so there is that one. I've got three of those. <laughs> so, um, I was happy that I got as much done as I did. So, I'm, gl I'm glad for that. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, what's for dinner? Well, we've already had dinner, but I can tell you what I made. <laughs> I made uh, some sausage. I had... Uh, a link of sausage in the refrigerator. Uh, if you live in Texas where they have HEBs, <laughs> that's our grocery store down here, um, there's a sausage that's called Texas Heritage. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and the, the, um, they have different ver uh, varieties of that sausage, but it's called, I think it's called Texas Heritage, something about heritage. And um, anyway, the one I had was a combination of pork and venison. And I think it's a little bit leaner than just strictly pork. Anyway, I fixed that and then I made some new potatoes. I quartered them up, put them in a dish and put them in the microwave with some onion flakes. And I love nude potatoes. Those were really good, little red potatoes. And then, um, red skin there, 
I mean, <laughs> and then, so I did that. Oh, and, and I roasted some butternut squash. Half the tray was butternut squash and the other half was okra. So anyway, that was a, a nice dinner that we had. Everything was good. <laughs> and um, so there you go. That's what that's what was for dinner. <laughs> so uh, this is the end of the crochet cotton collab with Seta that I'm doing uh, with her. Is, uh, her channel is called Seta's Place. I'm sure you know her. Everybody knows Seta. She's a wonderful lady. <laughs> and so uh, she asked me to be uh, to collab with her during this month, crocheting with cotton. And so each Friday we've been showing the project that we're making with the cotton that they had we had given each other, kind of like challenge kits. And so the last kit that I got last Friday was actually a complete kit and it was the yarn and the pattern to make right here. This little basket right there with the that's a duck that's in it. So that she said it says on there make me and then she actually gave me the uh, pattern include the pattern for the cat right here <laughs> the French cat I guess anyway so but this is what I was supposed to make is that basket with the duck in it okay well <laughs> um so I used the yarn that Seta gave me which was great yarn I really enjoyed working with it one of them the yellow part I think it was the yellow it was bamboo yarn which I hadn't used that before so that was fun um, so when I started following the pattern I was having difficulties with it a little bit um, I made the basket part and it turned out fine and I used the yellow yarn right there and then I this right there on there on there if you can see that right there those are supposed to be some cherries it's just like a decoration on the basket and so um, I started making the cherries that you're supposed to make and then, you know, adorn the basket with. But the cherries were coming out huge. And I was like, oh, no, this is not right. <laughs> and um, I had thought, well, I could get some of my crochet cotton thread, you know, like that you use for doilies. And I could do that and make the cherries. And I might go ahead. Might, sorry. <clears throat> Allergies. The oak pollen is still here. <laughs> okay. I might do that with the cherries, but, um, later, but I just, I didn't come in here and pull out the crochet cotton, the cotton thread to do it. So anyway, I just went with what I had here. And then, uh, so then I started making the duck and the duck started coming out really big and the beak really came out really big. So my duck looks more like a goose, <laughs> but I think it's cute. It's cute still. Anyway, I kind of took creative license, I guess, and kind of made my own thing here. Uh, I'm showing you, I, sh I will show you what the, it was supposed to look like is, here is the basket right there with the cherries on it, okay? And then right there, right there, is the little duck. See the duck? And so my duck was turning out totally different from that. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you what I did. Here is my little duck in a basket. But as you can see, his beak is so big, <laughs> he he looks more like a goose or like a spoon, you know, those birds that, that had like the spoon bill, as they call them. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this is what it turned out to be. And I just made the basket and then I st uh, stitched the handles, the top of the handles together. So then they would be, you know, kind of enclose the duck in there. So anyway, that's how it turned out. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> um, I think it's okay. It's just, like I said, the pattern was kind of strange the way it was written. Oh, well. Okay, so that is the conclusion of my collab, my collaboration with Seta of Seta's Place, the Crocheting with Cotton collab. Thank you so much, Seta, for asking me to do this with you. I've really enjoyed doing it. And um, so let's go on to the Lizzie Blanket project. Uh, like I said, I have not worked on the Lizzie Blanket today. I just decided to do some sewing today. And then also I had to finish up this duck. <laughs> and so, um, but I do have some progress pictures of some other people's Lizzie blanket. Okay. So, so the first one I'm going to insert right here, and that is Sylvia. She said that she is just completing part one. She had a little issue with the, the, um, the stitch count and she was kind of getting off. And so she just decided 
to rip things out and start afresh. And so, uh, Sylvia, I'm so glad that you decided to, you know, I mean, that you're going to still going to be doing it with us. And I understand completely about having to rip things out and start over. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> okay, so that is Sylvia's progress picture. And now the next progress picture I'm going to show you is Norma. So let's look at Norma's picture. And Norma said that she is just finished row 137 so that means she is in to part five and heading on to row 150 which would be completing that middle section there's a fly flying around so if you see that in the camera I'm sorry I'm gonna have to get the fly swatter when I get done <laughs> anyway um, so thank you Norma for sending in your picture your your project is looking awesome okay and then the last one I wanted to talk about or I'll show you is Kathleen and Kathleen right Right here is that's her picture and she has completed week four so she's getting ready to start or part four and so she's getting ready to start part five so thank you ladies uh, for uh, giving me the progress picture or what she posted they posted them in my Facebook group so thank you so much for doing that and sharing your progress pictures with us and um, so like I said I didn't work on the Lizzie blanket uh, today today but I do plan on um, maybe getting some rows knocked out tonight and then uh, working on it getting you know getting even more of it done tomorrow so it's hopefully tomorrow I will be showing you the next repeat on um, you know another repeat of row uh, part five <laughs> okay so I guess that is it for today um, thanks so much for stopping by sorry the video is coming out late in fact tomorrow's video will be coming out late as well later in the evening as well so everybody have a wonderful evening wonderful this is friday so wonderful weekend ahead come back tomorrow and we will have one last visit for veda tomorrow in the next video so see you later bye <laughs>